Megan and Chris, good morning. Those two deadly pedestrian crashes happened just hours apart, less than two miles away from one another. In the second case here, we know that there were two pedestrians simply trying to cross the street in the crosswalk when they were hit by an unidentified vehicle and driver that took off from the scene. You can see that there is a growing memorial out here this morning, and we're told that one of the victims killed here was possibly just a small child. Yesterday, Sunday morning at about 1030 AM, the Gardena Police Department received a call reporting the crash here involving pedestrians and a vehicle in the intersection of Marina and Budlong Avenues. On the scene, officers found two pedestrians lying in the road. The Los Angeles County Fire Department arrived here to provide help but one pedestrian was pronounced dead on the scene. The other was transported to the hospital for treatment. Police have not released the identity of the victims as they are working to notify relatives. The driver again took off heading north after making a left turn onto Budlong. People in this area say speeding and reckless driving are both issues prevalent in this community. People who live here say they would like to see more traffic cameras to prevent tragedies like this from happening. Back out here live again, this was the second deadly crash here in Gardena, less than two miles away at Vermont and El Segundo. Another pedestrian was killed around 4 a.m. Sunday morning. That driver staying on the scene. But again, in this case, the driver taking off. Police still searching for that person here this morning. If you have any information, you're asked to pick up the phone and contact the Gardena Police Department department. That's the very latest here live from Gardena this morning. I'm Omar Lewis. We'll send it back to you in the studio.